viewers of Wasteland TV and tonight we're going to talk about V. Not the new series that came out about 10 years ago but the original series it's all based on which is kind of based on um, the old Twilight Zone episode Serve Man and uh, then this has influenced Independence Day because it, it was all sci-fi has a habit of influencing other sci-fi that's the funny part about it but this here was wrote by Kenneth Johnson starring Mark the Beastmaster Singer and uh, and a bunch of other actors I don't remember them offhand they were popular in their day and uh, but Mark Singer is the biggest. And then the second one that's in this is Robert Engel. You may know him as Freddy Krueger. He's Willie in the series. And uh, the series is, is, is basically about aliens who come to Earth in, in the guise of peace. But really they're not. And this is an analogy to um, Hitler and the Third Reich. And how... It, it evolved and took, try, almost took over the world. And the funny part, the reason I want to talk about this is because you could replace scientists out with conservatives, the way the people are talking, and the visitors act like modern Democrats right now. They tell you one thing, but they really have an agenda to do something else. Um, and so you're sitting there going, is this an example of history repeating itself? Because this is based on the Third Reich and their actions they did to come into power. But at the same time, too, you can see a lot with the modern technology and the way they use it to influence people today and how people will sell to other people because it's the right thing to do for survival, for financial gain, for political importance. You know, and they don't listen to everyone. But enough about talking about the series, which is kind of funny because all I could find were the old videotapes to share. Yes, these are what videotapes look like, folks. And they used to come in boxes like this. And we'd go to places like Suncoast and a warehouse to go buy these. You know, we'd buy them in installments, like two to three episodes to a TV series. Or something like this, which was an enclosed caption of the entire first part of miniseries. But I'm here really to talk about the V, Enemy Visitor Figure, by LJN. Yeah, see, he, he, he's kind of neat. We've got all this, this here. We got the propaganda of the visitors, which uh, the Jewish guy then paints the V when he tells the little kids, no, 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 this isn't how you do it. And he shows them how to paint this V as uh, on posters. The box is a little beat. I'm sorry about that, but this is the best I could get a hold of cheap. And it's unglued right here at the seam. And he's open, which is nice. So I can take him out of the box so it removes the glare of the box plastic. And now you can get a better view of the visitor. We'll put him right here. And he even has, I don't know if you can see this tongue action. Sounds kind of filthy. He's got tongue action. <laughs> And then he's got his mask, which is two pieces that snap onto his head with the glasses holding it sealed. And he's got his gun. And if you notice, if you ever have one, he's on a fashion doll body, not a uh, masculine male toy body. So it makes me wonder if a lot of these dolls ended up as uh, mixed in with fashion dolls. 
because they were short printed and they were closed out in clearance stores because for some reason no one wanted the figures on the shelves or they didn't sell well I wasn't I was alive at that time but I could never find them to see why and they have replica of the uniform they have the belt this the over vest I wonder if you can get in it nope it's all one piece and he has one arm goes up and down but that's all it does he doesn't have pop knees they're solid like a mellow bouquin and his body's all mel and he's got really like I said very feminine looking feet if you notice they're really small puny and uh, it's just funny when you take them out of the box I've waited years to find one of these because I really love the show and I never could find them and I finally found one and the box is you know and the box is damaged so it's great to share with you guys but once I opened him once the initial ooh ah this is really cool I realized the visitor is just a Ken doll and that's pretty sad when it comes down to it and it's kind of funny too you know that LJN didn't put the time or energy into creating a really good property and since LGN at this time was owned by Universal and Universal produced the uh, was the, the series was a Universal property let's put the visitor back in his box and like I said in the back it <coughs> excuse me step by step shows you how to, to put the head on and how the head works and the, the tongue works yeah but you know it would have been not, I, this may have sold better if it was this wasn't the only option you could get as a 12 inch figure but maybe people would have liked to have seen a fashion doll of Mark Singer as Mike Mike Donovan or uh, what's her name the rebel leader I'm not thinking of it you know his girlfriend in later in the TV show and in the second series uh, and maybe Jenny Walsh because for some reason when they make a male for a series at this time they tended to make two females or no females and like maybe the toy line would, would have been Diana Mark Singer, the, this visitor. I don't think Diana would have had a removable uh, head. Um, she might have had some weird prosthetic on the side of her face and came with maybe the black commander uniform or the red uniform with the stripes across it. Or, and then maybe Robin, Robin, uh, you know, the, 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 the Jewish, not the Jewish, girl, the scientist's daughter who gets captured. You know, so you can start playing out your adventures. But what do you think of this lost archival figure? This find of, this, you know, it's kind of a treasure if you're a sci-fi buff to get one of these. But until next time, this is The Sounding Board, signing off.